Dear student, Assalamu alaikum. I hope all of you are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am Muhammad Shah Jahan, Assistant Professor, Department of Accounting, Milestone College, Uttara, Dhaka. Dear student, today we will discuss chapter 11. It is cost price and cost of production. Dear student, today this is our third lecture. At the end of this lecture, we will be able to find the amount of prime cost. We will be able to find the amount of factory cost. We, have, we will be able to find the amount of cost of goods sold. And at last, we will determine the amount of profit. Let's come to our class. Dear student, look at some information is given of ABC Limited are as follows. Cost of raw material use is given here. Work in progress, work in progress closing balance. Finished goods, finished goods closing balance. Then we have direct wages, indirect materials, indirect labor, Sunday factory expenses, administrative expenses and selling expenses. These are the information given to us, dear student. Then we have to find the amount of prime cost. Dear student, last two class I have discussed the about formula. Dear student, all of you know that the formula of prime cost, formula of cost of goods sold and formula of net profit of the company. Let's see the formula of prime cost. Dear student, if you can remember, I think you can remember the prime cost means raw material used and direct labor. Not only direct, raw material used and direct labor, three things makes prime cost direct materials, direct labor and other direct expenditure dear student let's see the math dear student if we can remember here look at we have raw material use that means this will be element of prime cost then work in progress no direct wages it is 24 hours per hour 2 that means 24 hours into 2 this is uh, another element of prime cost than indirect material, indirect labor, and factory expenses. That means there is no other direct expenses. So, for this math, we have only two items of prime cost. Dear student, again I am telling the formula because formula is the most important. In this math, just if you can learn the formula, you can do the math because just only you have to put up the value, you have to add or subtract it, then you will find the you can do the math, you can solve the math. That's why the formula is most important. In this math, we have raw material use 40,000 and direct lever it is 48,000. Therefore, total amount of prime cost is 88,000. I hope all of you understand. Dear student, our next requirement is cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold. If you can remember, let me discuss at first the formula. Prime cost plus factory overhead if you can remember prime cost plus factory overhead it is factory cost then with this factory cost we have to add opening work in process and we have to subtract closing work in process then it is cost of production it is cost of production and with this cost of production if we have to add finished goods opening and finished goods closing then it will be it will be prime cost then it will be cost of goods sold then it will be cost of goods sold i hope all of you understand dear student uh, cost for cost of goods sold let's see how much element we have look at cost of raw material we use work in progress yes working progress we have opening working progress we have closing then finished goods we have opening finished goods we have opening finished goods and we have closing finished good also then indirect raw materials you know that this is factory overhead indirect labor this is also factory overhead and sandy factory expenses this is also factory overhead that means we have three factory overhead and some finished goods some working process then we have look at administrative expenses this is not related cost of production selling expenses this is also not related to cost of goods sold dear student again i am telling the most important thing is formula you have to learn the formula then you can easily solve the math Let, let's see the math now prime cost it is uh, from requirement a 88000 firm cost from requirement a it is 88000 it is 88000 then 
with the prime cost we have to add factory overhead we have to add factory overhead look at factory overhead indirect materials is here indirect labor Sunday factory expenses it is 5000 therefore total amount of factory overhead is 18500 dear student factory overhead that means the expenses occurred in the factory earlier we have discussed the expenses occurred in the factory so indirect material indirect labor and Sunday factory expenses these are the overhead these are the other expenses these are the indirect expenses occurred in the factory and we have to add it it is 18500 and total amount of prime cost is 88,000 88,000 plus 18,500 it is 1,6,500 this is our factory cost it can be a requirement find the amount of factory cost last class we have discussed a math you see that in that math in requirement was find the amount of factory cost so it can be uh, one of the requirement and it will come for four marks so dear student i hope all of you understand how you can calculate factory cost prime cost plus factory overhead for mcq it is important how prime cost plus factory overhead then it will be factory cost and with this factory cost in the question we have seen opening working process and closing working process we have to add opening working process it is 5000 and we have to subtract closing working process it is 6500 then the cost of production is 1,5,000 cost of production is 1,5,000 dear student cost of production is another important requirement for exam in the exam it may come find the amount of cost of cost of production then what will be the formula prime cost plus factory overhead it is factory cost and with that factory cost we have to add opening working process we have to subtract closing working process then it will be cost of production dear student again i am telling if there is opening working process and closing working process is not in the math in that time factory cost is cost of production factory cost and cost of production are same dear student now with this cost of production we have to add finished goods opening it is 1119 this 13500 given in the question and closing finished goods it is 8500 so open cost of production one lakh five thousand and with that we have to add opening working fin opening finished goods that means earlier whatever we have goods then we have to subtract closing finished goods then it is cost of goods sold then it is cost of goods sold it is one lakh ten thousand cost of goods sold so dear student i hope all of you understand how we can calculate cost of goods sold again i am telling the formula prime cost plus factory overhead what is this this is factory cost with this factory cost we have to add opening working process we have to subtract closing working process then it is cost of production with this cost of production we have to add finished goods opening we have to subtract finished goods closing then it is cost of goods sold i hope all of you understand and of course if you have any confusion after seeing the video of course you should discuss with me you could talk to me now income statement dear student you in the question in the exact question it is given that we have to find the amount of profit for find the amount of profit we have to um, we have to prepare income statement or for find the amount of total sales we have to prepare income statement look at cost of goods sold cost of goods sold from requirement b it is one lakh ten thousand add operating expenses let's see the question how which operating expenses we have you know that operating expense means the expenses related to sales look at look at the question cost of raw material work in progress finished goods direct wages indirect materials and effective expenses look at administrative expenses this is for selling purpose or for office purpose and then selling expenses that means we have two expenses of selling and administrative and profit is 25 percent on cost let's come to the math dear student income statement income statement look at income statement we have cost of goods sold one lakh ten thousand from b and administrative ten thousand selling is ten thousand twenty thousand so total cost is one lakh thirty thousand total cost is one lakh thirty thousand then with this total cost 25 percent is profit so one lakh thirty thousand into 25 divided by 100 it is 32,500 it is 32,500 then with this total cost we have to add profit then it is sales then it is sales dear student i hope all of you understand of course if you have any confusion you should discuss with me may allah help all of us thank you very much
اللہ حافظ اسٹے ہوم اسٹے سیف